you people i have some good 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 news for you well i know i haven't been posting as much or keeping you up to date but today i want to give you a very long update in a short video a summary of what's just been happening but i'm super excited i'm super excited about the past couple of weeks and how we have come so far smash the like button and let's get in so we're making some adjustments here in the kitchen here we are so i felt like the kitchen was a bit small so they building some columns here for the foundation let's see how far this one is okay it's going to go still deeper than this so the kitchen is going to expand and reach this point so not sure whether to expand the kitchen or do we use do a dirty kitchen so let me know what you think so it's gonna start here and go all the way there because initially it was reaching here well you can see the column and i felt like it was so small but the pantry will remain i don't want to alter too much with the shape of the house so that's the pantry in case you are new to this channel, my name is African Tigress. I do travel and lifestyle videos, but for this particular moment, I'm showing you through the process of building my dream home just to inspire you and make you, you know, see like uh, there's nothing that you cannot achieve in this world. So I want to just give you uh, updates as much as I am around before we travel because that's gonna be very very soon and of course we're going to cover that in this episode and you can tell i'm super excited you can truly tell i'm super excited because some good news is in the pipeline <music> I got a phone call and immediately I have to leave Kisumu for Nairobi. I have been in Kenya for almost two months right now with a lot of things happening. I've been trying to work on the construction project. At the same time, you know, being an African, I have to apply for visas to a lot of countries, including African countries. And I've been applying because the next time I start traveling, I'm going to go for so long. Anyway, so let's go find out what the news is. We are heading to the airport right now, the Kisumu International Airport. I love this city. This city gives me a lot of peace of mind. That's why most of the time when I'm in Kenya, I prefer spending my time here over the capital. There's less traffic and things are just nice here. Anyway, finally at the airport, time to check in. Finally made it to the airport. Goodbye, Kisumu. I'll be back in two days. Yeah, two days. from Kisumu to Nairobi is a very short one. It takes you just about 40 minutes and you will be in Nairobi, which is better than using a road transport, which can take you up to seven hours. Thank you. 
immediately i got to nairobi i had to do fast things first i need to pick my passport from the courier company to find out my outcome so i'm just keeping my fingers crossed let's see what happens Oh my goodness, I was so nervous that I even forgot to record when I was opening. But guess what, guys? Here it is, my passport. And guess what? Visa approved. Oh my goodness, I'm super, super, super excited. So I was just waiting for this passport so I can apply to another country. Like I said, I'm going to be visiting so many countries. But could you guess? which visa i got let me know what you think in the comment section below let me see if your guesses are right hello good people it is a beautiful morning and we are heading to jomo kenyatta international airport i know a lot of you are expecting that it's going to be an international flight but i'm sorry to break your heart we are going to kisumu i'm not so sure this might be the last time before the international travel to just ensure i finish up some stuff with the house anyway come with me and let me give you an update another beautiful day another flight i think i've done these circles i don't know how many times until i'm tired and i don't even think there's anything new i can show you flying this route because i've really filmed it a lot anyway flight takes the shortest time possible 40 minutes you are in kisumu so let's get into kisumu straight up well probably before my next international trip this is my last trip flight to kisumu hey i've used i've been on this route almost every week until i'm like yo this airport is calling my name it now knows me by name <laughs> I just got to the site and we've made some updates on the house i want to show you we've made some steps but we also have taken some time a break in the course of this last week to get the trees and all that and you know <laughs> i'm actually doing these things as i am learning so apparently when you are transporting trees there's a permit you just can't cut trees and transport them to your site like that so you need permit uh you need to be given a letter that you'll give the driver who will be transporting the truck driver who will be transporting them to their site anyway i want to give you an update there's some changes and there's still going to be some more changes a little modifications in the design so come with me and let's check this oh, out well, so just go to the site and yeah come let me give you an update yeah, so here is some updates so first uh the windows are too high so they're gonna break them <laughs> i don't know if it's breaking them or what they're going to reduce them so that they can come a bit lower but you can also notice like the foundation is quite high so this place is going to be filled in due course so this other window will also go slightly 
under so maybe probably one or two blocks so that it's like really massive and so there's going to be an extension on this front side and then it's going to be like a high roof i don't know how they call it but a high one anyway so that is the study room uh, you can see right now that some plastering has been done the first round of plastering so this is the living area i can't cross because they've put that and opposite the living area we have the study room so this is the study room office study room stroke everything so this is where i'll be creating content from i'll be working and i'll be having a view of the outside maybe i'm not so sure <laughs> maybe later on among the last last things that we will do we might have a pool so maybe it will be somewhere there at the front so that i can be having a nice view and also the view of the pool from the living area anyway let's so continue. we're leaving the study room now or the office the content creation room and then we have the living room very massive very very massive living room and then this is the dining area here so the dining table is gonna be somewhere around here and one of the changes that we've made here at the kitchen as you can see the back wall is missing because i felt like the kitchen was so small so we've expanded it and i love it now so you can see we've expanded it by some maybe a meter and a half i think if i am not wrong but right now once the wall comes up you'll now notice like the kitchen will be bigger yeah so that will be the size of the kitchen from there to that end to that end uh unfortunately we couldn't extend the pantry but since we have the kitchen extended so this is the pantry area now we'll be having more storage inside the kitchen because we'll have more wardrobe so there was no point of extending the pantry and we also didn't want to interfere too much on the design of the house so from the kitchen here the dining room these are the stairs that will go to the upper floors so these are the stairs and then of course we have the common toilet here and on this other side one of the bedrooms Abarin. yeah so we have one of the bedrooms here and that's gonna be the toilet self-contained every room is self-contained so this is going to be the toilet and bathroom for the bedroom and then you can come out here so this is the laundry room the one i told you that was big so yeah so we're gonna have like I'm gonna put the washing machine around here and some shelves and all that shoe rack so to keep some dirty laundry and shoes so this will be the location and then after that you'll get out of the house through another door there's another door in the living in the kitchen yeah there's another door in the kitchen and so this is the view of the back of the house so the bedroom uh the toilet for that bedroom the common toilet uh the laundry room the pantry so let's keep going around so that you can go 360 around the house this is what we have this is the other side of the house and there's going to be some bedrooms and balconies and a lot of designs we're going to properly see the design of the house once the house we once we go to the upper floors we would have been able to figure out the design of the house so yeah here we are so one of them that's the architect who's helping to redesign 
we had to change an architect long story so we just redesigning with a different architect but so far i love 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 everything so here we are and yeah now that's 360 tour of the house oh i love it and now at least the kitchen is bigger now on the upper floor <laughs> on the upper floor in case you're watching for the first time we're going to have a big bedroom like big one the one that people call the master bedroom and it's going to have like a walk-in closet two three balconies it's like balconies all over uh we're going to have a family room which is like a living area movie area like a place where we can be hanging out on the upper floor we're also going to have a gym like um not heavy equipment as such but like treadmill and some few gym workout things here and there and then we also going to have what i've forgotten everything i think my mind is thinking too much and, and yeah i just remembered we shall also have some other two bedrooms all the bedrooms in the house are self-contained and yeah the rooftop is a flat roof so we'll have a place like to chill and hang out on the roof so i'm super excited i can't just wait to see how this comes out so let me know what you think in the comment section below Beside me and wait, I sing hallelujah. I bring my burden again to my father and my friend. I sing hallelujah. Anytime, any place, you stand beside me. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to let me know which country you think I'll be visiting next that I got visa for. And I can't wait to see how this house will eventually turn out to be. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video to inspire others. Until next time, bye-bye.